Mike, can I see your ID? Do you not know who I am? I still need to see your ID. Finish the song. 11? Sing the whole 12 days of Christmas song right now. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. One golden ring. Two Christmas trees. Or Five golden rings. <laughs> Money? Oh, I have no idea. A partridge in a pear tree. I don't know that. Eight lords are leaping? Nine swans swimming. Ten, ten dogs. Yeah, sweet. Eleven turtle doves. Twelve golden rings. Three turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Happy Tuesday, Tigers. Happy holidays. I'm Matt Scott with Tiger TV. And I'm Donovan Longsdorf. Did you know that Die Hard is a Christmas movie? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's, it's on Christmas. It, but it's not around. It's, it's not centered around Christmas, so it's, it's not a. It's not a Christmas movie. It's on Christmas. No, it's not. It is on it's not, it's, it's on Christmas. It's on Christmas. But it's a Christmas movie. It's about Christmas. Disturbing news this holiday season as Santa himself was expelled from the House of Representatives. Who will represent the hardworking elves of our nation? Oh, thank God. Apologies, viewers. It appears that we have mistaken Santa for New York Representative George Santos, who allegedly transferred over $200,000 in campaign funds to his personal bank accounts. The House, the House Ethics Committee claims that Santos used the money to pay for multiple holiday trips, merchandise from Sephora and Herms, spa visits, and Botox. Well, he will certainly be on the naughty list this year. And now to Kirsten for today's wacky story. Hey Tigers, I'm sure you'll want to hear something that you don't hear every day. In Oregon, the inflatables had some beef. Frosty the Snowman and Slushy the Snowman. I guess Slushy really needed that magic hat. We don't quite get the results of the fight, so who do you all think won? For Tiger TV, I'm Kirsten Shepard. Hi Tigers! I can't speak for anyone else, but I'm looking forward to some nice snow this season. We saw our first storm over the weekend, leaving all of this wonderful snow for us to enjoy. Join me next semester for mountain snowfall updates and other winter shenanigans. <laughs> um, for Tiger TV, I'm Bella Justicek, and now to Nate with the sports. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. For one last time this semester, here's the sports. Tonight, our boys basketball team plays Mullen here at 7.30. We play at home again on Thursday against Wheat Ridge. Check those games out. Boys wrestling are competing multiple times throughout the week, Thursday at Bear Creek and Friday and Saturday at Northern Colorado University. Here's some other things to catch this week. Friday, our swim team is at Green Mountain and girls basketball at Fairview. Now here's a quick overview of what happened in Colorado sports this weekend. The Avalanche continued to be a good team standing at second in the division. The Broncos got a win Sunday against the Chargers. Hopefully they will stay strong in these last four games. The Nuggets are currently four seed and played last night against the Hawks. I don't know how they did because I'm filming this on Monday, so look it up. With sports, I'm Nate Burleson. See you after break. Any students interested in track and field, come to the Indoor Track and Field Club. We will meet at the weight room for strength and conditioning every Tuesday and Thursday starting January 4th at 3.40 p.m. See Miss Montana with any questions. As you may know, the Senate puts on a war week every year where we raise money for an organization to create a difference in our community. For the past few years, it has been a Make-A-Wish Foundation. However, this year we are sponsoring faraway friends to raise money and build a preschool at our sister school in Uganda. Here's a video discussing the great call. Hi, Mr. President. Oh, hi, Ms. Vice President. Have you ever heard of Roar Week? No, what is it? Roar Week is where we raise money for an organization. It's January 22nd to 26th this year. Who are raising it for? Faraway far friends. friends. Wait, is that our sister school in Uganda, Global Leaders Primary School? Yeah, it is. This year we're trying to raise enough money so that the little kiddos can get a preschool. Let's hear a little word from them. Hello, Lakewood. This is Omar Alinas M. I'm With DLP Top Class Children. For Spirit Day, we would like you to wear a tiger print and pink, which is our school color, to represent our school for all week. We love you. This year's Roar Week will be from January 22nd to the 26th. So start saving your money so that the children in Uganda can have a preschool at Global Leaders Primary School. And maybe even a playground. 